What's going on, the friends? My name is MJ Dreads, and welcome back to some of the letters of the Wind Waker for the Nintendo Wii U. We're off off last time. Um, we started to explore um, ba um, part of the map. Uh, we already explored one seventh of the map as we as we explored uh, se uh, seven of uh, seven islands, starting from Flight Control all the way down to Two Eye Reef. And so, right off the bat, uh, you're seeing me actually sailing from where I left off in the last video, and that is Two Eye Reef. And, um, and I'm sailing my way over here to Headstone Island, where we were at, which is where the Wind Temple is located. Um, starting off that, uh, with, uh, the island itself, there is actually a heart piece that you can actually get here. Uh, in order to get this heart piece, what you have to do is you have to get a Huey pair to lure a seagull, uh, so you can take control of a seagull and lure it to the heart piece that is on the very top of the, of Headstone Island. That's actually a really clever spot to uh, place a heart piece, if I do say so myself. I don't know how anyone's supposed to say it. Uh, I'm supposed to know that. I guess the w I guess the way I see it is you're supposed to. Um, though I guess the way I I see I see that being being like being noticeable is using a telescope and figuring out that there is a uh, heart piece on the top, or maybe just flying, or maybe just randomly fl flying around out of curiosity using a seagull and uh, by using the heli heel player, but. Nonetheless, uh, on the same square that Headstone Island is on, there is a submarine here, and the submarine can actually be, and, and inside the submarine can actually be a little dangerous uh, because we have these, we have these rats. They're called bomb chews in this game, in this game, which is really weird, which is, which is really weird because bomb chews an a bomb chews an item in um, in older in other Zelda games where uh, you use where you use those bomb chews to. Um, uh, to um, move, to blow to blow to blow up stuff, but, the, but these ones work against your favor. These ones are just rats with bombs, uh, which is which is uh, what I think that they they just were, but no, they're actually instead called bomb chews. So yeah, uh, so fighting these guys can be really dangerous um, normally uh, if you're just fighting them with your sword. But you can act. But uh, what I learned in uh, one when I was recording this video is that you can actually use the boomerang to kill these rats in one hit. Uh, which is uh, a really safe strat, which is a lot safer to do because when you, uh, if you accidentally hit these bombs, you'll you'll set off the bomb and and then they'll and then you'll it'll blow up on you, um, and which is not good because you'll take a lot of damage if you do so. That's not a good thing. Uh, so that is uh, so that, that is that submarine and in this and your reward for defeating all these rats is a very special reward, hopefully. It is a treasure chart. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's good. You definitely want to want to take a look at these submarines um, because uh, most major most of these submarines are will contain something very useful in them, such uh, uh, such as either treasure charts, heart pieces, or or whatever else that's important or whatever else that's important to, uh, for for these. Um, all right, so we're pretty much done with Headstone Islands. So now we're actually gonna move on to a different square. Um, the next square I want to I want to go to is uh, Horseshoe Island. Is well, I want to go to the square of Horseshoe Island. Um, we've already explored the island itself on Horseshoe and uh, on Horseshoe on, a, on in an earlier video, so we don't have to worry about exploring that place yet or at all. So um, instead, um, we are in the square because there is a platform over here, and so we're going to go ahead and uh, take uh, explore these, uh, this platform. Um, climbing climbing up to this platform is can be really annoying because <clears throat> there are these um, there are these uh, cargo rocks right here. I believe that's what they're called, uh, and and sometimes those cargo rocks can really can can uh, hit you while you're climbing, and some and half the times nothing you can really do about it, which kind of sucks. Uh, so, but um, I believe you can actually snipe them uh, from your boats uh, as you're making your way here. So, I, so that way, they, so you don't have to deal with that problem. But uh, thankfully, that cargo rock did, didn't give me problems at all uh, as I was climbing. Uh, he almost did. So that was that, that could that could mean really really bad things. All right, so on this platform there are actually two of these platforms. You hit uh, hit the switch on this platform, there will be then the chest spawns to uh, on the other platform. So you have to actually make your way to that platform. Uh, the good thing about uh, the good thing about this is that you don't have to deku leaf your way uh, to the platform uh, to to the platforms because there is actually a ladder. It's, it's easier, so it's easier access, and that uh, you don't have to worry about any of these like bomb cannons blowing up on you. 
Um. <clears throat> so we're just gonna go ahead and, and make our way to this other platform and uh, take care of the enemies over here. I I do recommend just killing off just killing off all the enemies here just in case there happens to be another treasure chest because it may look like there's just only uh like a few uh, like a few treasure chests in on the platform but there's more but some some platforms contain more treasure chests than you think because uh because you have to kill all the en either all the enemies all the bomb ships or or anything else that that might that might feature uh stuff on, on there so as you can see, there's there was a church chart. There's a church chart right there. I would like explored this. Um, so um, there are other there are a pl platforms that I did that I did skip over uh, according to my notes because uh, because according to my notes, some of those platforms will will contain something that I don't need. So it's not bot. So it's just it's just not worth the the time to actually get there. And, and, and for the sake of time, I decide not to show those platforms off at all. Although some of those platforms do, do contain some really cool stuff, but unfortunately you won't, you won't get to see those at all. So there is actually another chest. If you hit the if you hit the switch on that other platform, that another treasure chest that will spawn onto this platform right here. So we're gonna see. So, so we're gonna go back to this platform and see what this chest contains. And of course, it's not gonna contain. A, it's you're not gonna see two important items in a row in in, in a single square of a plot of uh, where there's platforms. So that's kind of a shame. Said you get a new sub of gold feather, but that's all right. I mean, it would help if you still haven't gotten the heart piece from from the Rito who wanted 20 gold feathers. So that that could help. That way you don't. That way you don't have to go out of your way farming. Although I believe farming would be faster than just looking for these twenty gold feathers. But oh well, it's 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 whatever it's whatever floats your boat, I guess. There is actually another thing in uh, on in this same square of Horseshoe Island, uh, surprisingly, which I can't which um, surprised me when I found when I found this out when I was pra when I was practicing for for this video and when I was taking notes. Um, so there's actually, I I encountered this. I might I might have encountered this at an earlier at, at like a really early point of the let's play. But there but there is actually a submarine that contains that contains these four got these four people right here, and they're gonna talk about how they are uh, treasure hunting and that they they won't uh, share their treasure with with, with you. Uh, so this is, so so if you talk to them for the first time, which this is my first time talking to them on on this on this let's play file, uh, they're actually going to teach you how to uh, how to uh, search for treasure on, in the Great Sea. Uh, that uh, with the gra and that is by simply using the grappling hook, uh, go to a spot where it's sparkling, um, dive uh, and then and then once you're at that right spot, you, the grappling hook should be should go should go fish for the treasure, and then you'll get the treasure chest. As long as you're on the right spot, that's pretty much how you how you would get, how you would get treasure. Um, of course, for your reward for talking to them, um, after listening to their advice, you get yourself another treasure chart. So that's that's good. Uh, you will see you you will see those guys in other squares, but all they will do is is just uh, give you advice right there. Now, if you see uh, lights coming out of those sparkling areas, that means uh, there. That means those areas contain a treasure chart, a treasure chart treasure, um, which is treasures from from uh, what your treasure charts are, are are what your treasure charts are revealing. And once again, I, I have explained already in previous episodes before that I will cover all the treasure chart items uh, at, at, in, in a separate video. Uh, now is not the time, um, as I want to be able to make the let's play a little a, a, a bit organized uh, for uh, for just just for LP purposes. Okay, so now that we're done with uh, with everything on on horse, pretty much everything in Horseshoe Island, we're now onto a different square, uh, and this square is called Diamond Step Island. Which, uh, if you look on the, if you look on the, uh, if you look at the overview of this island, it actually looks really, really cool. Um, and you actually get a really cool, a really cool item here in uh, Diamond Step Island. 
if for, uh, well, for explore for explore this place, and you'll see what it, you'll see what it is once we actually get there. I actually don't know why I decided that it'd be a good idea to check all these squares. Uh, I actually don't remember why I was ch I was checking all the, uh, I was uh, slicing all these all the grass other than for magic and uh, uh, other than for magic bombs and arrows uh, because I was actually because I'm actually fine as far as uh, inventory is concerned I don't, so I don't know I don't actually remember why I did that so this is actually a, a bit of a maze here in this area um, so what you have to do so in in this place. You can go inside a pot. You can go inside that pot, and then you're put into a pot maze. So you have to choose a pot, and you have to hope that you go in the right way. In practice, this took me around six tries to get through this maze. Um, so we'll see what happens this time around. So uh, this took a bit of this took a bit of mem memorization here. Is that in, because when I was practicing, I forgot to to write down which po uh, which pots were the right were the right ones. So I just uh, had to just guess for the most part. But uh, so far, so far we're going to the right. So far we're going the right way. If you go to the wrong pots, you will actually get take take be taken back to the the beginning of the pot maze, and that you have you would have to start over. Which is which is something that you probably don't want to see happening. So I'm gonna blow this up right here because it's four poor these pots, which means there's four options that you, that, that you could choose from. Let's hope let's hope this one that I went into is the right one. Okay, so far so good. We haven't made we haven't made any mistakes so, uh, as as so far, which is good. Um, you do want to be careful though. There are these four masses that could probably ruin your day as you're going through. The, the, this pot maze, and what do you know? I went the wrong way. So that was the wrong pot that I went to. As you saw, it took me back to the beginning. So now I have to do this maze all over again. And magically, I am back to where I left off. All right. So this time, we're going to actually check these other two pots right here and, ho and hope that w hope that one of them is the right one. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, then I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. First. I rec once again, I recommend killing off the floor masters in case they decide to grab you, because that can that can be a possible thing to accidentally grab you uh, or throw pots at you. Then it can really suck. All right, we're at the end. We're at the end of the pot. So that took me uh, three tries actually. I cu I cut the uh, second try out because the second try was was just an earlier mistake. Uh, in the main, like a mistake that I made earlier in the maze, so it's just so it's really not a big deal. You didn't miss, you didn't really miss anything there. Uh, but your reward for going through this uh, pot maze is the ghost ship chart. You can see on screen that's what the ghost ship chart looks like. Uh, so it basically tells you where, at what time at night. Well, okay, it's really complicated. Yep. <laughs> So, um, depending on what type of moon it is at night, we'll, we'll sh it will show you the location of the uh, ghost ship. That's what. So that's so, so that's what that that's what that is about. Uh, in addition to that, it the uh, ghost ship, the location of the ghost ship will be located on your C chart, which is very useful if you want to explore the ghost ship. Which I plan to show off the ghost ship. Uh, after I'm done with all this exploring, uh, so for now we have the ghost ship chart. For, uh, so for now we just have the ghost ship chart, which will come in handy later. Okay, so now that we're done with ghost with, with Diamond Diamond Step Island, uh, we are now into a we are now in a new reef. So the last reef that we went to in the last episode was called Two Eye Reef. Now we're on a different reef. It's called Five Eye Reef. On the mat, on our C chart, it looks like a a five a a five dice, which looks which is pretty cool. All the reefs are shaped like dice, uh, so if you need any clue on on where, on where the dice where uh, where where all the reefs are, just look at the pictures of the dice. So same deal, same concept with with, with uh, from Two Eye Reef for, with this one. You have to destroy all of the bomb cannons and all the bomb ships that are inside the reef. The bomb ships that are outside of the reef, you don't have to worry about at all, as those don't count. Uh, 
the more the the more like reefs the more the more eye reefs there are i guess you could say i don't know if i explain i don't know if that's called i don't know if that's explaining it correctly but the more of that there are but the more but like but since this is a five eye reef it's a bigger it's bigger uh there's more of these like stepping stones and uh well there's five stepping stones because it's five eye reef and it's supposed to shape like a five at five dice so yeah so the more of the five the more of the stepping stones, the higher, the more like bomb cannons they have to blow up, and it, and, it get, and sometimes it can be really scary if you're in low HP because well, you're trying to focus on one bomb cannon at a time, and then there's multiple bomb cannons like aim like trying to shoot at you, and that's a problem in the in in that and that could be a huge problem in the SD version because in SD when you get hit while you're while you're sailing, uh you get knocked off your boats. In this game, in this version, you can get knocked off your boat, but it's, but it is a an extremely rare situation uh, that that you do that. So that's it's really useful how they uh, improve that. So by defeating all the bomb by defeating all the bomb cannons here, uh, and a church has a, a church has spawns. So so we have to go ahead and make our way to it, fly to it, uh, and you can tell and you can tell which uh, direction the wind is facing by looking at the, by looking at the flags. So the flags give you a good a good detail on uh, what dire uh, on the wind's direction if you're going to fly to the treasure chest. So we are done with Five by Reef now. So we're gonna move on to our next area, and the next area is at, is uh, Shark Island. And there's a platform right there that I could explore, uh, but I have decided to skip over it because, according to my note, according to my notes, that platform contains absolutely well. That platform contains uh, a reason to not explore it. I do not remember what what it contains though, so um, but it's just not useful. So don't worry about it. Um, so in Shark Island, there's actually quite a few, quite a bunch of things that, that you can do, but uh, only one of the only one of these things is uh, quite necessary to, to go for. Actually, you don't re you don't really have to go to Shark Island at all. Um, but uh, I'm gonna sh I'm, but I'm gonna uh, but I am showing this off because uh, this is actually a really cool place, and you'll see and you'll see why once we uh, get once we get to it. All right, so you need. Uh, the following items: you need uh, the skull hammer, iron, and iron boots in order to get to this place. Uh, so first, you have to hit you have to hit the you have to hit the stepping switch, then you th and then you have a skull hammer switch, and then you have an iron boot switch, and then a crystal switch. Now, this is really weird because I don't know how like exactly like the exact way of like activating this. Um, because sometimes, like, when you hit the switch, when you hit a switch, then all the other switches become, uh, become, will just deactivate for whatever reason. So, I don't know if there's, like, a specific order that you have to, that you have to hit these switches. I would assume so if, if, if um, these switches deactivate at, after, like, at, after, like, certain times or something. I, I, I don't know. I, it's either that, or you have to just have to be fast, which is kind, of, which is really hard to be fast because you because uh, of this part right here. So yeah, because it was taking me quite a while for me to figure this out, I was uh, I decided to just speed this up, uh, just so I could save less time. I could maybe cut this out though, but oh well. I, because, oh well, I've already I've already I'm, I'm already speeding through this. I don't know why I had a hard time trying to hit this switch right here. By the way, I do jump attack the skull hammer switches because it, it because it jumping jump attacking the animation for jump jump attacking is faster than just using the skull hammer regularly. Okay, so after like enough mishaps with with uh, Shark Island, um, the a cyclone appears. Uh, not only which I will worry about later. But the um, the ring around the uh, the fire ring around the uh, around the grotto 